Hello there ladies and gents, and welcome back to my scum single player. Now I have to apologise if I sound a bit stuffy, that's because I am a bit stuffy. I'm just coming to the tail end of a cold, which is great. But at least it's finally beginning to bugger off. So yeah, we're back in scum. It has been a while since I've uploaded a scum video, almost ooh, over a week now, if not 10 days. I like to try and get one out each week, but I was, uh, I've been a little bit busy, so I didn't have much time. But here we are, back again, in the world of scum, and there's lots of things to talk about today, because Mr. Tomislav has been very busy, leaking, quotations, pictures of all the new things, and there was also a dev interview on the Friday just gone, I think, Friday the 5th. With Ray Kit, I don't know if anybody saw that, where they were talking about uh, 0 0.85, which will be the next update, which is just around the corner. And it comes with a few new features, actually, to be honest. Lots of different things have been included, but first off, we need to get in here because... I need to see if I can get this wheel for my bike, or the bike, that we found back in the town over there. I rode here, as you can see. But we need to wait for him to mooch on away. Because this is the easiest way to get in here. Get me on. Ooh, it's quite a lot of puppets. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Ah, uh, no, it's not. I'm okay. Do you? And then you can go straight in up there. It's a nice, easy. Oh, look, I just dropped one of these. Oh, okay. Uh, I just dropped my one because it was only at 6%. So, that's a lot better. At least I have a melee weapon again now. Right, so. First port of call. Uh, the garages are actually over in that direction. Which is where I wanted to be, but this is the easiest way in. So, 0 0.85. What have we got? I've made a list. A small list. But basically, after the interview, just cut down the most important things. First thing, these big yellow bastards will be gone. And they will be replaced with even bigger, more powerful, more dangerous black bastards. Basically, the new centuries are coming with the flame flower. And I don't know if you saw, but Thomas left a couple of weeks ago now. Um, sent out a tweet. I think I showed it in one of my videos with the new centuries. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. In the new centuries. With the flamethrowers on. So that's going to be exciting. So they're coming. That's the first thing. I cannot wait for those. Although sentries are a pain in the stones. Let's be honest. They are a real pain in the stones. I forgot about that one. Bit. Get me up and get me down. I completely forgot about that sentry. But hopefully, he shouldn't hit me. Uh-oh. That was close. That was very close. But it would also be good if I could get a bit of ammo here. Because I'm a bit low on ammo, basically. So yeah, new sentries. Second thing, which I'm really excited about, I have to be honest is the generators. And I'll put little... I'll put some pictures up of the uh, tweets. I'm sure that most... Oh, that's handy. Most of you guys have probably already seen all of these things already. But I'll, uh, I'll put them up anyway. So there's that, the generator. Now, I'm interested in how the generator's gonna work. Is it gonna be... I mean, obviously it's gonna need fuel. 
because it's a generator. So it's obviously going to need fuel. But in terms of connecting it up to other electrical appliances, is it going to go down the mist route? Therefore, you need... Uh, or no, therefore it will be done in a radius kind of way. Meaning anything within 50 meters, it will be activated, it will turn on and it will work. Or 100 meters or whatever, like something like that. That's how they do it in Mist Survival, if you ever played Mist. The other thing, what I would prefer, because I'm a freak like that, but... For me, personally, what I would prefer is um, a extension cable. So you would have to find extension cables to plug in and maybe the generator has, I don't know. Oh, what a shot. Three slots, four slots, who knows. You know, and you can therefore attach four cables to it. Which you can then attach to your other electrical electrical appliances. Now we do know also that we are going to get refrigerators. Oh, buckshot, that's nice. Uh, we are going to get refrigerators. So to keep your food fresher. Because along with the generators and the fridges comes the whole cooking rework. Which they have been pushing quite hard. And... Uh, Cooking has been broken for a little while, so it is good that they're now going to fix it. Ooh, M16 magazine. Hello. I haven't found one of those in a while. Um, so it is good it's going to be fixed. But like I said, I personally would prefer an extension cable, four slots, and therefore four cables to four appliances. So two fridges and some lights or whatever. And there hasn't been any tease of any other electrical apply. Okay. There hasn't been a tease of any other electrical appliances other than the refrigerator. So it's going to be interesting if there are actually going to be lights. I um, don't know what else there could be. Radios. Not necessarily going to be TVs, but you know, other electrical stuff. I don't know what else they're going to incorporate with it, unless it's just going to be the fridges. It might just be the fridges for now. Why am I walking so funkily? It might just be the fridges for now for 0 0.85, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um. But it, it does open up the realm for all sorts of new things to be added in the future, which is really, really good. Really good. Because I said in one of my previous videos that I do think Scum is lacking behind a little bit in terms of other survival games. So it's good that they're now opening the door for all other... Ooh, it's the angry one. It's good that they're now opening the door for new and improved things and updates and things like that. So that is something to look forward to. What is that over there? Is it worth going to get? No, it is a piece of cloth. Oh. Oh, I missed. I missed again. I didn't miss that time. Thankfully. Now I need to be careful because he can get me here. So we need to get down. Although I think he's buggered off actually. Ooh. Yeah, he's there. Get rid of you. There's another one there. Can I get you from here? That was a long drop. That was a miss. That was a hit. Missed. Hit. Missed! My arrows! No! 
There we go. That got rid of him. Oh! Where did you come from? Right, let's get these arrows back. Oh. Who doesn't see me? That was close. That was very close. Arrows. Thank you. So yeah, it is slowly beginning to get better. Which I am grateful for. I have to say. I am looking forward to it. All the new things. Right. You should have quite a lot of my arrows. Or at least there should be quite a few sprawled across the floor here. Because I am a shit shot. There's one. Oh, I thought I shot more than that. AKSU, smoke grenade. Never actually use smoke grenades. Just want to go through these containers. Quickly. M9 mag. Brass knuckle. Ooh, hello. Oh. That was 50 AE, wasn't it? I do believe it was. Wire, that's always good. Thread, that's always good. More thread. And poop. Okay. Right. Done that one. Right, let me just get back into the safety of this little hollow. There we go. Uh, where'd that 50... There you go. There you are. Unpack. Give me one of these. No, put that away. Thank you. Give me one of these. And now load in some of these. So at least we have a pistol, but it's not silenced, so I don't want to really shoot it. So, back to 0 0.85. The new male characters will not be featured until 0 0.9. Um... That has been confirmed on the interview. So the new male models will not be there until 0 0.9. Which, let's face it, normally we'll get an update sort of November, October time. So we may see 0 0.9 this year. In fact, I would probably even, you know, be willing to bet money on that we would see 0 0.9 this year. But I could be wrong, so, you know, don't uh, don't hold me to it. But normally, we see a major update in October, November time. So, hopefully, that will be the case. And we will see 0 0.9 then, which will obviously be the bigger one with more goodies involved. But for now, back to 0 0.8. Uh, hunting. There is a complete new hunting rework. And what that basically means is animals will no longer spawn in front of you, as it were. You will actively have to track them. So you might not necessarily see deer, bear, or all that kind of stuff running around the map anymore. You will actually have to use the... Oh, shit. Use the focus uh, mechanic. Focus in on a track. Animal track, that is. And then you will be able to track it. Ooh. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. Good, he doesn't see me. That was close. Uh, then you'll be able to actively track it and hunt it. And also, I believe that the carcasses are also going to stay for a longer period of time. They're not just going to vanish, as it were. They're going to be there for a bit longer. Hello. 
Bye. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the hunting because I do like, as I said, I've always been more lenient towards the survival aspect as opposed to the, you know, the zombies and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. It is a survival zombie apocalypse. Well, supposedly. It's not really, is it? It's more of a... Oh, shit. That was bad timing. Let's just wait here for him to pass. I just want to get that crate there. And then we'll head back and go through that door. I just want him to go away again. Because he's the aggroed one. Yes. He is the aggroed one. But also, with the hunting... The admin controls on servers will be able to have a control of, for example, the time of day that uh, deer, boar, bear, that kind of stuff is available to be tracked to try and make it a bit more realistic. So obviously early morning and dusk is when these animals like to come out the most. All right, let's see where Bob is around this corner. Oh, shit. Okay. No, no, let's not go that way. That was a silly thing to do. Let's go back this way. And go the safe way. Because that was the silly way to go. That was the death way. And I don't want to die. Oh, with uh, the update will come a wipe. Obviously. Unfortunately. Uh, but they won't wipe your characters. It will only be a partial wipe. So your character will still be alive. But unfortunately, all of your loot and your gold... Ooh, there's a drop over there. And all of the other goodies that you have acquired will be gone. Whoops, I missed. I completely forgot about these lockers. Oh, shit. That was close. Give my arrows back, Bob. Just get these back. I completely forgot about these lockers here, to be honest. But we shall go through them, most definitely. So yeah, I will lose everything we have, which, let's be honest, isn't a lot. But obviously we'll keep the character. Which is good. Uh, Anti-mine, boring. Don't need that. Anything else? How did one of my arrows get over here? Interesting. Right, let's get the old bobby pins out. Uh, four of them. Two. Three. Four. Craft lockpick. I think I do this in every single episode. I craft lockpicks. Like, seriously. Constantly crafting lockpicks. And pick lock. Oh, I've got gloves on, but that's okay. Come on. There we go. Anything good for me today? No, not that. That is effectively poop for me. What is this? Oh. UMP mag, I'll take that. I wouldn't mind taking a UMP with a suppressor. I'll be quite pleased with that, actually. Empty. Come on. There we go. And probably also empty. Ah, oh, smoke grenade. Boring. Okay. Right. Uh, what is through door number one? Any dead bodies? No. Okay. Good. That's good with me then. Let's just check around the corner. Hang on. Don't want anything to surprise me. Or oh, lockers. Hmm. I completely forgot about all this up here completely forgot about it but there's not much the game is willing to give me apart from bloody knuckle dusters come on game you can do better than that there we go that's a little bit better but i still want more knuckle dusters wow game stop with the knuckle dusters just stop oh that's actually quite a good find i have to be honest with you I don't really have the space for it. So I shall just leave it for now. 
This will just be duct tape and bobby pins and locks. Okay, no, boring. Right, let's go and lock pick these containers and then we'll make our way over to those garages. Yeah, we might have to go outside. That's where I want to go. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, all along there. So it might be best if we go out and go round. Maybe the safer option. One, two, three, four, another four. Another four of these, which is fine. Okay, with me. No, oh, no, that's all of them. And then lock pick. Oi. Thank you. Right, back to 0 0.5. 0 0.8.5. No, that's not right. 0 0.85. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be getting the abandoned monkers. That is coming in 0 0.9. I was actually really looking forward to that. Provided they don't do it like the World War II bunkers. Oh, dear. And I'm hoping that in the abandoned bunkers, uh, you will actually be able to find almost 100% durability on the weapons and the stuff like that. Because the, that's the one problem with the World War II bunkers is that you'll find like a car 98, but then you can't repair it above 50% because it is, I don't know, 27%, whatever. So... The only real option you've got to find one is in a bunker, in a modern bunker, which I don't actually think they spawn there, or um, you have to buy one. You you can't, you know, they're very limited because they they obviously have a bigger spawn rate in the World War Two bunkers, as it is a World War Two weapon. Um, but like I said, because their durability is so low you um you can't really repair it uh... wait for him to go where is he so i hope in the abandoned bunkers you will be able to find higher durability weapons which will be nice which will be nice because i am a fan of the old world war ii weapons i have to say all right is he buggered off buggering off all right go away i'm sure they've increased their uh range of detection, you know. Positive of it. Uh, we need to go a bit faster. Whoa! That made me jump. Whoa! That made me jump. I'm in the wrong one. I need to be on that one. Oh, crap. What do I do here? Ooh, this is dodgy. Do I run along there? And go up. I can always run along the roof, but I've got him over there, and now him over here. So it may be safer to go up and across again. Although he is aggroed. He angry. He very angry with me. He's here. Go away. Thank you. Very quickly, if I fall down there, I'll break my leg, so... Uh-oh. Oh. Huh. You shouldn't be able to see me here. I hope. I really hope. Need to wait for him to pass again. 
he'll just shoot me, otherwise then I'll be dead. So, going back to the uh, abandoned bunkers, they're actually supposed to be home to the creepy crawlies that we will probably get Oh my god. Wow, I didn't think he came all the way to the wall. To be honest. I thought he just came halfway up. Okay. Now we just got to wait for this one. Yeah, the abandoned bunkers are actually supposed to contain the creepy crawlies that we will probably get with uh, 0 0.9. So all of those funky monsters that have been shown. Now this is the this is always the tricky bit. Well, you can't just jump onto the railing and then run across. To be honest. Run for it, run, forest, run. And then over here. And we're safe. There you go. If you ever need to get into this complex, this is the easiest way. Open that door from the inside. Climb onto the door. Climb on here. Climb onto that AC unit. Run across onto that rat ladder. And then basically you're in. Easy as pie. Right. Let's head on over to the other entrance. So, we can start checking out these garages. Oh, look, nice little bit of bunny hopping. Garages are over here. Oh, zombie. Up it. Been playing Daisy. And, uh,. I'm now calling puppets zombies and zombies puppets. Ooh, you don't see me. Good sentry. Right, we'll just park this here under the shade. Uh, let me just have a little check on my old. Oh, we're okay for now. Right, let's get rid of him. Oh, did he go back inside again? Does he not want to play? I think he did go back inside, didn't he? Oh, there we go. Now he's aggroed. Come on. Run through. There he is. Speedy. Speedy Gonzalez. How many arrows have I got left? Not a lot. I did actually lose some. But I always do. Always do. Started with 24. Right. This is a trickier bit. Because he just goes, I think, I'm pretty sure he just goes up and down. Or he turns here. Hang on, I can't remember. If he turns, then we're safe. Okay, we're good. That's okay. What we will do is take refuge in here. Because uh, that's a hat. There is a. On one of the floors, I can't remember which one. There is a little armory. Not this one. Must be upstairs then. Let's just start at the top and work my way down. There's a dude. There's a dead dude. Uh, there is definitely an armory in here. Uh oh. Neither do I. Funny you should say that. I don't enjoy it either, my friend. I really don't enjoy it. Go away. 
Yes, you. Go away. There will be more in here. I just want to clear it out. So, yeah, exactly. Let's see. So I don't get collared from behind when the time comes. Clear out the rooms. We are safe. Magnifying glass? Can you zap start fires? And then we'll head to the garages. Once I've done the armory. Which I think is downstairs. Yes, it is downstairs. Yes. I think it's on the second floor, if I remember. Yeah. It's on the second floor, not the third floor. Right. Down we go. I gotta be careful because they can shoot through windows now. Okay, it's on the first floor then. I was wrong. Get rid of you. Close that door. Pick up these. I have aggroed quite a few outside. Well, that's okay, I can get them through the window. Making sure there isn't any more. Ah, oh, there we go. It's on the ground floor. Okay. My mistake. My mistake. Right. We've got a few more of these to go through. Uh, five. Good job I picked up a new box of bobby pins, isn't it? Two. Three. Four. Five. Lockpick. Lockpick. The only problem with the wheel is I'm going to have to carry it all the way back to the bike. Which is fine. And it needs to be a front wheel. So, uh, must make sure I pick up the right one if we find one. Hopefully. Speaking of vehicles, uh, planes will be the next vehicle to be um, set back to active again. Although I was kind of hoping for the bikes actually, because there is a, um, there is a uh, screenshot of the bikes modular system rework. And it doesn't look too bad actually, I have to say, it looks quite cool. So I was kind of hoping that those would be next, but um, no, they've gone for the planes. I mean, guessing because that has less moving parts I mean let's be honest you're not really gonna go crazy and build an apocalyptic vehicle on a plane are you Ooh, hello uh, the problem is is I don't have a magazine for it Please be a magazine for an MP5. Please be a magazine for an MP5. Please be a magazine. Okay, boring. Right. Uh, what I can do is just load up some of these. Is that full? Oh, it is. Okay. It is full. Uh, that's UMP mag. That's not what we want. I will have a quick drink and a bite to eat. Just to get my energy levels back up to 100%. Obviously. Also, smoking is coming to... I'm not sure if it's coming to 0.85... Or if it's going to be in version 9, update 9. It was a bit hazy. But basically, uh, that's gone bad. 
basically smoking is bad for you and causes all sorts of problems so you can smoke but it will be at your own risk you can get lung cancer you can get all sorts of diseases so it may be best to avoid the cigarettes in scum oh, we've only got four of those left that's not good um yeah it may be best to avoid those in scum as they may cause more problems than you wish to have. Right. Now we've got to go to the garages, which are just there. But we need to get these ones to come over here. Hello. Goodbye. Come on, Bob. 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 Ooh, right in the noggin. Right. There is our target for today. Which is not going to be easy. Because of you. Right. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Now we're clear for one. Uh, close the door. Game, give me the... Thank you. There you go. When you're in here, you're safe. Oh, screwdriver. But, unfortunately, no wheel in this one, because I'm pretty sure it would have been outside of the uh, boxes and things. Not really going to fit a bike wheel in there are you right now all you got to do you shouldn't you shouldn't see me here although I say that I'm not sure I trust it what you can do though is you can just use the gap in the door there you go Wait for him to mooch on off. And we can go to the next one. And he is gone. No wheel in here either. Which is very annoying game. Very, very annoying. Very, very, very annoying game. Right, there's a lanthorn. A gas lanthorn. Also, with the electricity, it will be interesting as they're doing a whole cooking rework. And um, in one of my previous videos, I shared the screenshots of the chicken that it was raw, cooked, burnt, the four stages. It will be interesting if we're going to have electric cookers as well. That would be quite fun. I have to say. There he is. You soon will be replaced with version 2.0. Oh. Oh, look, they're talking to one another. And he's gone. Again, no wheel. That's not good. Really need a wheel, game. Really, really need a wheel. Oh, uh, that was a fishing rod. But it's not a wheel. And a harmonica. But again, not a wheel. Nope, no wheel. God damn it. Right, we just need to wait for old muggins here. To wander on by. And the last thing in point eight five is there will be a new city somewhere. I don't actually know where. I think it was somewhere around here. Uh, or maybe in C0 or C1. I can't remember where. But I know that from the screenshots you could see the nuclear power plant. So somewhere in that direction... 
Okay, these garages are pretty shite. Not going to lie, because there's no wheel in them. Uh, with the new city comes the new atmosphere, like what we had with the radiation. And also, it seems that the radiation might eventually start spreading due to the weather and the wind and stuff like that. So, um, that will also be something to look out for. Ooh, my guy's really heavy. Oh, yes. He is officially the Leaning Tower. He's really heavy. But look at all the goodies I have. Let's eat some seeds. There we go. Just to make him a bit heavier. Why not? All right, he should turn. There he goes. As soon as he goes past there, we are a free boy. I'm a real boy. Still no wheel. Hmm. Maybe these garages were not so good after all. I found two bikes, but no wheels. Which is a wee bit annoying. All sorts of crafting material. Ooh, box of nails. That would be so handy. Uh, I should really take that. Crafting. Is That is just good, good. That is really good, good. Ooh, it's bigger than I expected. That's what she said. There we go. I'm pretty full on everything now, to be honest. Alright, wait for him to walk on by. He has no clue. No clue. Idiot has no clue. I'm right here. Wait for him to turn. Open the door. Last one. No wheel. Good try in there. In fact, I will try in there because this has been a bit of a disappointment in terms of wheels. Car repair kit. I will actually need that to fit the wheel. I said in one of my previous videos that it's utterly pointless. You don't need a car repair kit anymore because there's no damage. But I have to correct myself and thank you to the person who commented on it. Uh, you do need the car repair kits to fix the parts to the car. So even if I found a wheel without the car repair kit, I wouldn't be able to put the wheel on or a jack. I've already got a jack in the little box. Ah, jack in a box. Uh, but I need the car repair kit. So thank you to that person that commented and corrected my mistake. But you do actually need them. They just don't repair the health of the vehicles because there is currently no damage on the vehicles. That has been turned off. And there was no news on when that will be turned on again. I didn't gather any information on when that will be turned on. So uh, we are still waiting for that one. Oh, hello. Slightly damaged, but better than nothing. Oh, now you hear me, look. Ooh, what's in here? Something is playing with your circuits. Hmm, okay. Uh, but no wheel. Didn't know that this had uh, military... Oops, I mean to do that. Military boxes in it, I have to say. Well... I'll take it because I do have a, a hunter rifle. There's quite a lot of hunter ammo here, actually. And as far as I deduce, uh, we will be getting some new weapons. Um, possibly the SCAR... A new 22 pistol of some kind. The RPGs. Uh, what to do here? The RPGs that we saw. The, what is it? The A24, I think it is, if I remember. Is that the name of it? I can't remember now. The name of it. But there's no wheel here, which is poop. 
I was really hoping for a wheel. And there is no wheel. Oh, we'll check this one and then we will skadoosh. Okay, you're down and chunky. I missed. Oh, right in the face. He's down. Again, no wheel. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff because I need to make space for the car repair kit. Ooh, that's a nice find. Wouldn't mind finding an AWM. Why is one of my arrows over here? I didn't shoot an arrow over here. What's it doing over here? I shot in this di general direction. I would understand if there was one here, but not over there. Doesn't make any sense. Well, that's all she wrote, unfortunately. No wheel today. No wheel at all. Right. Let us do a bit of jiggery pokery. Airplane repair kit. Well, they're going to be needed shortly. Let us do a bit of jiggery pokery. What can we do as jiggery pokery here? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. Let's get rid of the Geiger counter. That's crap. Let's get rid of one of these mags. Get rid of these seeds. Yeah, that's quite big. That's quite big indeed. I do want the axe. I'm honest. I do want said axe. And I also want said nails. Will said axe fit in here? Or is it to... Ah, oh, yes it will. And let's get rid of that and let's keep that. Right, okay. We managed to fit everything in. Might as well slot that back in again. Geiger counter. Ah, whatever. We can always find another one of those. When the time is right. Now all we do is run back. Basically. Could go around and check in here. But I don't want to risk it for a biscuit. So... No. Let's just leave whilst we're still in health and not bleeding. So there we go. Where is my bicycle? Give me my bicycle. So no wheel. God damn it. Well, what I'm going to have to do then is head back to the town or the little village and uh, drop off some of this stuff. To be honest, I don't know where else to go for a wheel. We've done the B1 town. We've done the B1 bunker. I could go to the C1 town, head up this track here. But first I need to head back Unless I build a box here. Just drop it off here, really. Could always come back for it. Who knows? Okay, I'll figure that out anyway. And I'm sure we'll see. But that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Gave you a little bit of insight, which I'm sure you guys already knew anyway, about uh, 0 0.85 update that is just around the corner. We don't know when. But knowing Tomislav and the team... It will probably be fairly soon. It wouldn't surprise me if it's at the end of this month already at some point. Or halfway through already. So, I would expect it very soon. I think they, if I remember rightly, the last time when they were talking, when they did the dev update, uh, sorry, when they did the dev talk last time, or 0 0.8, I think within four days they released the update already so I'm not saying the same thing's gonna happen now but based on history we can kind of expect that it's gonna be fairly soon so probably on the next video all of this stuff that we have here is probably gonna be gone and uh, we're just going to be our uh, person with nothing and start again from scratch which is fine which is fine I don't mind but we'll have new things to look out for and hopefully a wheel 
We'll probably find a wheel next time, but no bike. Yeah, my luck. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.